Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel with League One Team of the Season approaching this weekend. We need to talk about a few things uh, regarding Thursday flipping this week. This is the usual upload that we put out on Wednesdays looking at um, cards to be eyeing and stuff to be looking at for Thursday flipping this week. And we always, we make those investments earlier in the week, but we specifically focus on them on Wednesday uh, before week and league rewards do come out. And I think there's a lot of stuff that we can look at this week, not just League One cards, actually. We're going to look at a nationality this week as well, across the board. Um, we're going to look at icons as well, and um, just popular players from the French nation, because I think a lot of stuff this weekend is going to rev revolve around um, France players. It obviously depends on the League One tots, how many French players are in the team, but um, this investing that we're doing, that brings up a point in my head as well. We're not just investing right now for Thursday flipping. Yes, we can do some investing for Thursday flipping. We can look at some Serie A uh, special cards, some Serie A gold cards out of packs as well. Some of those did really well in the previous team of the seasons, like Messi's gold card last week. Um, I remember um, Aubameyang's gold card went up. Van Dyke's gold card went up. Um, so we'll maybe look at a few of those as well. Um, but... We need to look at some stuff heading into the League One Tots uh, to start things off. So I'm going to kind of take this on a timeline of stuff that you're going to sell first that we you might already have invested in and stuff that you can still look for decent deals on. Um, and that is the Serie A um, players. Now, a lot of you probably invested in some Serie A special cards last week on, on today, this day last week, as we saw some cards that were getting cheap, that were heading into the Serie A team this season. They were pretty low and we thought, hey, these are good link investments to a lot of these cards. They're pretty low. This might be a decent investment opportunity. And some of them haven't moved. Some of them have gone up. It's just been a, kind of a mixture of multiple things going on on the market um, that has changed things. So what we saw last week and with the weeks before was if you have any of those Serie A team of the seasons, not, not team of the seasons, any of these, these Serie A investments, like let's say... Let's say you invested in this striker Riccardi. Um, he's Inter. He has gone down since Serie A Tots came out, and you know I want to mention about that. Some of the stuff has actually gone down because of the quality of the team of the season players and just the Serie A, the league. Like a, a guy like this Correa card. This Correa card comes into the game, and if you're playing him at Cam or striker, regardless, you know a guy like um, Icardi. Uh, the amount of stats that you get for this card, 250k, compared to that Icardi that we just looked at, it's no comparison. This card is much, much better in terms of statistical value. So that's why I think a lot of these Serie A special cards um, kind of crashed a little bit harder, and some of them honestly didn't even really move in the past couple of days. One that I think of specifically, this Douglas Costa card. On the weekend, he's about 330,000 coins. He's even lower on PS. You saw here 330k on Monday. He's 350 right now. Um, this card really hasn't moved, to be honest, because there's a lot of other cards that have come into the game with the Serie A tots that people are trying instead of this card. Now, if you have any of these cards still in your club or on your transfer list, I'm a part of this. I have some of these cards still here um, on my transfer list. I have some Chiellinis. I have a Mertens. I have a couple of cool Bali foot birthdays. These random Marquinhos, and I have some Bentacura and some Lukaku. I bought these Bentacura at 200,000 coins um, last week, and he's still almost kind of around the same price. 216 right there. I've seen even yesterday and last night, I saw a couple at 200 flat. Um, but these cards, these Serie A specials that you might still have in your team, might still have in your club, I would get those out on Thursday because as we've seen in the prior weeks, when Friday comes around, Everybody forgets about the Serie A, and that new team of the season is the only thing that anybody and everybody wants to think about and wants to deal with, which totally makes sense, right? Because these new cards are coming out of the game. They want to play with them. They got to get them in their teams and link them, all that kind of jazz. So if you have those Serie A cards, get them out on Thursday. Get them out on Thursday after rewards. That's the plan with those. And there's some of them that are still low. I mean, you might see this Douglas Costa tonight, Wednesday night. Hit a price of 330k again. I would say that's probably a good buy because think about how many people have done this Sandro SBC, which I can't even show you the SBC because I did him. He's in my active squad right now. Think about how many people have done the Sandro SBC and have pack pulled a Chiellini 
or maybe the Cancelo card. There's links everywhere for the Juve cards. Um, so that's why you, you you have a guy like this Douglas Costa. It could be a good investment on Wednesday night. He could go up 30, 40, 50,000 coins on Thursday alone. Rare card. Um, he's got 99 pace. He's popular. Got a, He's got a good uh, skills, five-star skills. He's Brazilian. Juve, he's got everything going for him. Um, but he just hasn't risen too much yet because of the team of the season cards. So you can still watch these Serie A cards. I'm kind of moving on from them just because I feel like this league, I don't know. It just doesn't look like the... I'm sure there's going to be some great investments from this league. Cards are going to move a lot. Um, things that are going to go up. But I would just be careful with some of these things um, just because... Wow, look at this. The 156K for the Quadrado... Um, UCL live card. This card, I was looking at buying it for 180k before the weekend because I thought, okay, there's not a ton of right wings in this league. Who's going to get a right wing team of the season? And look what his price has done since right wing team of the season. Since, or since team of the season, he's gone down 158k. Will he go back up on Thursday? I think he will. Um, Chiesa is obviously making this card go down in price. Chiesa comes out um, and people are like, whoa, it's a pretty sick card. They go and sell Quadrado and try out the Chiesa. Um, but he's Juve, he's Colombian, we have the Muriel, if we have any Colombian fans out there, they might be making a squad with the Jackson Martinez, you know, who knows what's going on, so I would expect cards like this to rise on Thursday, that was going to be your time to get those out, so that's the Serie A stuff, I want to talk about that, you're informed about that, um, get them out on Thursday, and even if you're going to take a little bit of a loss on Thursday, I'm honestly going to take a couple of losses on some, some Chiellini informs most likely, Bought him for 180,000 coins, and he has actually gone lower from this point. 187 was my buy price on there, and yeah, he's been 170, even seen a few for 160 this week. So I'm probably going to take a little bit of a hit there on those cards. I'm glad I didn't buy too many. But just get him out on Thursday, because that's when all the hype is still around Serie A. Some people are going to be building weekend league teams with cards that they have packed and doing the last bit of upgrade packs. So let's move on. We talked about that for a while. Let's move on and talk about... What I was mentioning in the beginning of the video with League One and with the French cards. So, looking at League One cards, this is what I want to tell you guys when you're investing in specials this week. This is what we do on Wednesdays. We invest in the special cards. And again, we're probably not going to be selling these cards until next week's Week in League Rewards. So next week before Ultimate Team of the Season. Um, there's a little bit more risk with that because people are probably going to be selling a lot more stuff heading into that week. You might see a little bit more sell-off than normal throughout the week next week as people are realizing, especially towards Wednesday, Thursday, whoa, uh, ultimate team of the season is going to be coming out and we're going to have the best TOTS cards in packs. I want to have my coins ready for that. Um, so the best bet for these cards, you, you know, there might be some good ones to flip later next week, but the best bet for these cards is going to be finding the ones that are going to fly up on Friday when people build their teams and they try out the new, um, league, La Le or league un, league un, that's what I'm looking at, league un team of the season cards. I want to focus on one thing here. This last week we talked about Juventus cards going up the most, um, and maybe some Italian cards. Um, obviously we saw a lot of Juve cards that went down just because there were like the Quadrado was the one of the best players in his position right wing in the Serie A Chiesa came along kind of took that place Chiesa's card was cheap kind of pushing down Quadrado's price um, the same thing for this week we're going to look at the main team we're going to look at PSG and we're also going to look at French cards now I don't know what they're going to do with this team of the season but the La Liga itself um, I remember watching the La Liga uh, rewards, or excuse me, League One. I keep saying La Liga. What's going on? League One. <laughs> the League One rewards um, when Mbappe won Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. Um, there, I think Bele was part of that midfield. Um, he was part of their team of the year. I don't know if EA is going to exactly copy that team of the year and make it its team of the season uh, or team of the season, whatever. So that's why I just want you guys to focus on French, I want you to focus on PSG and maybe Olympic Lyon because those are very linkable cards as well. Um, obviously, there's a lot of cards that are going to be invested in for this because if you're making a team, um, well, let's be honest, a lot of people already have French people or French players in their squads. So this is one thing that I want you guys to do. Instead of just looking through the League One special cards this week for investments, for links and everything like that, 
go and just look at French cards. Go and scroll through some French cards because look at how many Team of the Season cards people might have. How many people have Laporte? Tons of people have Laporte. A decent amount of people have Usman Dembele from last week. Benzema as well. People are loving the um, Wissam Ben Yedder card. I have him as well. He's fantastic, by the way. And then people, tons of people have these icons. Vieira, very popular icon. Center back moments Blanc, very popular icon. Um, Desai, another very popular icon. And those guys are all French. So when I see that kind of stuff, I'm going to be looking at some of these French midfielders, maybe some French outside backs, and even French goalkeepers. I think Hugo Lloris could be a very good buy this week um, because just the fact that somebody who has Petit and maybe somebody who packed a Chiellini like me or some other center back during a team of the season promo from upgrade packs or from a guaranteed, they might be running some type of hybrid squad. So again, we're going to look for the strong links. You get one French center back that is an, um, an icon. You're going to get an easy link. Or with Laporte, um, you can throw a French goalkeeper in goal, get a link to him with Laporte. A lot of people have that card. And if you get a French, like let's say they do a Tots Kimpembe, you get one link to Kimpembe with a French goalkeeper, maybe maybe a strong link between those two, you know, something like that. But watch out for this Lloris card because he's French, he's a goalkeeper. I think he is the, the quote-unquote best French goalkeeper in the game based on stats. I believe I don't see I don't think there are any French goalies up here that I missed. No, he would be the best French goal in the game, so that's a decent shout as well. But even guys like Pogba, even guys like Griezmann's informs, and Conte, um, a lot of people still have a lot of team this season cards untradeable, and they're going to be trying to link those cards together this week. This Pogba card at four hundred thousand coins, I think he was under, yeah, three ninety eight on Monday, but last weekend. Look where he was at. He went from 407 to 449. And that was without any big time hype. Yeah, we had some Ben Yedder and Benzema French guys in there. But watch this card again. He might go from 400 again back to 450 with some added French hype um, on these cards. So look at the French cards. Look at the League One cards. Now, I want to say one thing. A lot of people are looking at this card right here. And at first, I was telling you guys to look at this card as well. But I think this is going to be the exact same case as Cancelo last week. Maybe buy one, throw it in your club, or just buy a couple and keep it safe. But I think this card is going to be very over-invested in. Because remember when this headliner card came out? This card was like 500, 600,000 coins first day. And people were raving about it. People were raving about it. He was already one of the most OP and used right backs in the game. That's not going to change. Because this guy is going to get a Tots card this weekend. He's going to be the best right back statistically in the game. He's going to have all 90 stats except for shooting. And everybody is going to want this card. And everybody is going to want Mbappe again. You're going to want Everybody's going to want to have Mbappe and Lala on the right side of their teams. So first off, that makes me think, watch Cancelo's price. Because if you have another right back, like even Trent Alexander-Arnold team of the season... Watch those prices dip this weekend, depending on how much this Lala card is, because so many people are going to want it. But that makes me think, oh, this card could be a good investment if the team this season is very expensive, just like last week with Cancelo. Well, we know what happened last week with Cancelo. Everybody invested in his ones to watch card because they thought the same thing as this, what we're thinking here, that his card actually went down on Saturday as he was so over-invested from this last week of people buying him up from 100,000 coins, he went to 110, 111, and then went right straight back down to 100. He has recovered since then, but this was a huge sign of over-investing um, of this card, and I think the same thing is going to happen with Lala this week. So I would maybe just pick up one of this Lala just in case the demand for this card is crazy high. If they put the price range wrong on his team this season that he's going to get this weekend, and that team of season is extinct, nobody's going to have the chance to buy that card, then this one would definitely go up. But that's a risk that I'm not willing to take. I'll probably try to get one for 185 is a good price on Xbox. I'll try to get one right around that area, stored in the club, but just focus in other areas because there's going to be plenty of other areas like this Pogba card, like the Yoris that I shouted, maybe even team of the season Laporte. This might be a pretty good guy to pick up because he's French. He's going to link between multiple leagues. Um, 275,000 coins. He has only gone down since he's gotten out of packs. If you see that card at, on Xbox at like 250, 260, 
I think that's a guaranteed 300K this weekend. He could easily rise back up. I know more French center backs are going to be coming out, but he is French, he is good, and he is in the Premier League hybrid for days is what we're looking at here with cards like that. So, again, this weekend, French, get your Calcio A Serie A cards out on Thursday. Get them out, get them away, take your money, and get ready for the League One team of the season coming up this weekend. Everybody is going to be all over the Mbappe and all over the Neymar. And if you're one of those guys who actually has a Team of the Year version, if you have a Team of the Year Mbappe or a Team of the Year Neymar, you're probably going to see some panic selling here in the next couple days. I would assume these prices might be down a little bit. Wow, Mbappe is still very high, 3.7, 3.8. He's still pretty high. So I would get those cards out because there's going to be people that are panic selling those cards. That it almost seems like people have kind of forgot that this next team of the season is coming. They're still worried about upgrade packs. Um, but definitely if you have a TOTS or team of the year Neymar or a, or a team of the year Mbappe, this is the only team of the year Neymar right now on Xbox, 5.3 mil. I would get those out Thursday after rewards if you can, or maybe even as soon as possible, and uh, take your coins on those because those should drop heading into the weekend because the TOTS cards should be coming out. And then, um, obviously, there'll be more supply of those cards. Um, and the team of the years will get panic sold. So that was a long video talking about a lot of things to do this week in terms of trading. Use your best knowledge. You can still go through on a, you know, just look through these team of the knockout stage. I used this Sterling as an example. Just a minute ago, he was 432K. You look at his graph, 472. What's going on here? You look at his hourly. Is this, is this 432 fake? 470, 480 on Monday. 450, 460, 470 yesterday. Like, I should have bought that card if it, it wasn't there when I went and looked. But you can still trade with the normal cards on the game, uh, informs and special cards out of packs, team of the knockout stage cards, headliners, FFS cards, you know, all that kind of stuff. You can still trade with these cards. Flip birthdays as well. You can still flip these cards on Thursdays if you're trying to make some coins. Don't be afraid of doing that. Wow, is Koulibaly will it really 180? Wow, he boomed. This card boomed. I bought a bunch of them right down here at 118. Whoa, where did they go? I could have swore I had like four or five of them. You know what? I think I do remember what happened. They sold at like 140 or 150, and I thought I got lazy buyers. But that was actually his price, 170,000 coins. You know what? I'm going to list mine one overnight, 175. We'll go six hours. That would be an incredible sell. So there's a Serie A card that has risen a lot in the past couple of days. So you're going to see the cards like that rise up even more on Thursday tomorrow. Good luck with your rewards as well. I did not play again this weekend. I'll be playing a lot more Weekend Link here in the upcoming months. I know it's not the best time, but my current situation with gameplay and internet, I don't play much of the game just because it is not enjoyable for me but hopefully you guys get some sick rewards make sure you tweet me those i'll be all about that on, on thursday we'll be looking at that kind of stuff um so make sure you be you'll be talking to me then but in the meantime good luck with your upgrade packs if you're doing those i got chiellini tonight and i crafted the alexandro as well if you saw my tweet um you know i got those guys that was that was pretty nice to get those cards um in the team we're gonna try them out um and one last thing if you check my twitch link in the description i have not streamed in about a year, about a year and one month it's been since I've streamed. That is going to be changing. We're going to be doing more streams. Um, as you see the setup change behind me, we're going to a different place. So make sure you drop a follow on the Twitch channel and you will see me a lot more active in the coming months on that channel. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.